hey guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys four ways with which i color wafer paper and use them on my cake so wafer paper can be a little bit bland like not very exciting just plain and flimsy and just you know weird looking so you have to be able to add accents to it and make it look really nice based on the kind of cake you want and everything and it can be very difficult to color because it gets wet really fast so today I'm going to be showing you guys four ways which you can color your wafer paper properly and how to use them. Especially if you're going to be using gel food coloring, liquid food coloring, or if you're going to be using luster dust. So let's get started. Okay, so guys, <laughs> today I'm going to be using 0.02 millimeters wafer paper. And these ones are like very thin. I think these are the thinnest ones you can buy. And it's important when you take out your wafer paper from the box or whatever it was wrapped in, you should wrap it back with maybe cling film or something that is airtight. Otherwise, your wafer paper will dry up and the next time you want to use it, it will be so dry that you can't work with it. Like it can be very difficult to work with. So make sure you store it properly so that when you're ready to work with it, it will be, you know, pliable to some extent, you know. Okay, so first thing I'm doing is using gel food coloring with some vodka and then just making like vertical stripes on my wafer paper okay so what this does is that like it can give you like this vertical um, tie and dye effect with just one color and it is very pretty but you have to make sure that like you're painting with vodka and not water so make sure you use gel food coloring and vodka or um, any kind of alcohol that evaporates really fast or you can use um, lemon extract because it evaporates really fast because if you let your wafer paper get too wet it becomes flimsy and just wet and disgusting and unusable basically okay so let me show you guys another method which, which I use something else I like to do is create patterns it doesn't have to be any serious pattern just something very random and symmetrical it gives dimension to your wafer paper especially maybe when I want to make a bowl or maybe when I want to use it to wrap a cake yeah and I want it to have like an abstract design this is what I do you don't have to do the designs I did you just have to basically just work based on you know what's in your head what space your head is in right now and how creative you want to be with it just be creative with it but make sure like you're not using too much color so it doesn't get too sticky okay so now that we are done with this one we did the vertical stripes and then we did the just random patterns and then so this one I'm going to show you what next yeah this one I like to use a brush and it makes it a little bit more uniform it makes it a little bit more symmetrical so all I just do is like take like a sponge a clean sponge of course maybe a new sponge and then take it and then use it and rub it like stick it on the wafer paper you sometimes I can use this to make like a bird depending on the movement of my hands and stuff so basically it looks like um, a different pattern that is more um, symmetrical than the first ones we made randomly so I kind of like this one usually I like to use this one when maybe I want to wrap it around the cake and make it look you know abstract and stuff okay so the next one I want to show you guys you're going to be needing some um, vodka and um, lost dust so today I'm using my edible gold dust I'm going to put the link for you guys in the description box in case you want to buy also I have the link to some of my favorite cake tools in the description box cake tools have made my life easier in cake decorating so you can check the description box in case you want to buy some of those okay so what you want to do with this is basically to add some lemon extract or some vodka to your gold dust and then stir it as much as possible so there won't be lumps and then start to paint it's important when you paint that you first dab away some of the liquid otherwise your wafer paper will get too wet if you notice i'm dabbing away but yet my wafer paper got a little too wet than i would have like loved and what it does when it gets too wet is that it starts to fold yeah like it has to like change shape instead of being just straight and flat so i'm going to show you guys i love to use this technique especially maybe when i want to <laughs> like add another color to it and give it like let me show you guys i'm going to add a little bit of gold to this one as well just to give it some you know dimension and stuff there are no ways just make sure when you're coloring with a paper you use you can use different things at your disposal you can use brushes you can use sponges, you can use gold dust, you can use gel food coloring. Just make sure you do not use liquid food coloring because that way it will get too wet and too sticky. 
okay so this is all we have today which one do you prefer of all these four patterns i think i prefer the one with gold just because you know i have an addiction to gold thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed this video in case you're trying to color with a paper make sure if you're going to be using the luster dust like i did you dab it even more so it doesn't fold this much like this one folded thank you guys so much and i will see you in my future tutorials bye